Rolling! Ah. <laughs> Come do it with me. No, 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 I'm cool, I'm cool. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Cobham following a seismic weekend at Chelsea Football Club on the field. Congratulations to the Chelsea women who secured a third successive WSL title. Well, here at Cobham, preparations for next season are already well underway. As you may be able to see behind me, some of these pitches are already being laid ahead of the new campaign. And the good news is for the development squad, they will now be playing PL2 football next year, courtesy of a last gasp victory over Tottenham on the final day of the season. They needed to win to avoid relegation, and that is exactly what they did. Goals from substitutes Dion Rankin and Joe Haig, enough for Andy Meyer's side as they secured a 2-1 win over Spurs. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When you was out in the garden, what did you practice most? Finishing. Okay. A lot of finishing. How did you do it? Like, uh, my dad like bought like a goal or like he had two goals that he made. Oh, shoot, like, the same amount on my left and right. <laughs> and then uh, well, we worked on different types of finishing. Oh. Like one touch, two touch, touch and then different, different angles as well. And then, <laughs> Try get a good. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> morning, champions. Good morning, Blues. It's been so crazy this season. Um, I think everything that we've we've gone through and achieved, it's um, yeah, it takes a little time settling in, but also then we're looking forward to the weekend. Mm. So it's like such a quick turnover, but yeah, extremely proud. I'm going to bring with me this trophy. You're taking it with you? It you yeah. deserve it. And when you come back, we'll have your statue ready, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some statue, so we're going to get it. <laughs> Some of the chaos this year, you, you feel like you've been one of the, the constants throughout this. Yeah, 100%. I think we've just got our head down, we've stayed in our lane, we've not worried about all the chit chat outside. And I think that is the beauty of this team. It, it, and I know we say it every time, but the, the family feeling mm. that we get is we just all stick together and we kind of created our own little bubble and we said nothing's going to get in and nothing's getting out. and. That's literally been our mentality from start to finish. Chance to win an FA Cup for the second time in a season. That's a bit surreal, isn't it? Yeah, again, another opportunity to win another trophy. I think it'll be an intense game. I think it'll be probably the hardest game of the season, if I'm honest. Two top teams going head to head in the best stadium there is. Um, yeah, for one of the biggest trophies, the FA Cup. So yeah, it's something that we, we don't take lightly. If all the men's team can focus on their FA Cup final at Wembley this weekend, there is a small matter of a Premier League game up in Yorkshire to look forward to. A win against Leeds would guarantee Champions League football for next season. And as is normally the case prior to any big Premier League fixture, the boss Thomas Tuchel has been speaking to the media. It looks different. They even uh, stepped up in their physical input, which is quite remarkable because we thought they already play on their top level physical-wise on the Bielsa but they even stepped up in, in terms of uh, high intensity runs, in terms of attacking and, and, and forward checking. I'm looking forward to it actually, because uh, I've played there once, but without spectators. So tomorrow will be a, will be a big fight. And I think the, the atmosphere and the surrounding will tell you instantly that well, what's going on and we will feel it straight away. So we need to step up. James still tees it up for Mason Mount to have a go. Didn't he just? Virginia, nice touch from Mount. Here's Pulisic to round this off. What a beautiful goal. And Ziesch got Lukaku in the middle. Ziesch for Lukaku. Heavy touch. Can he score? Still Lukaku. And still, he's done it. It's three. Game over. I'm very happy with the performance and the attitude with which we played. We were very focused, very disciplined and uh, we helped each other out. We needed this win, we got it, so we can arrive with a, with a calm mindset and a, and a calm head, which is very important to arrive in, in a final. We only have 
two and a half days and, and we, need to, we need to be spot on. All eyes now very much on Wembley Stadium this weekend for the big FA Cup final double header. Well, the kit men here at Cobham have been very busy today printing up these, the official match shirts. The men will be wearing these on Saturday afternoon. Very nice indeed. Well, we hope to see as many of you down there at Wembley Stadium as possible. If you cannot get to the game, do not worry because we'll have lots of exclusive build-up and coverage on the fifth stand, ChelseaFC.com and our social channels as well.